Hi, my name is Timmy Tope and I represent Marida. This is a design tutorial to teach you how to design a pipe rack using PGMX. So for us to start, we select design, structures, beams and columns, so as to be in the beams and columns environment. Okay? Alright, so we need to design a site specifically for this project. Okay, so we go to create, we go to site, and we can name it Marida Consult. I can name it Marida C. Click OK. Then I need to create a zone for my equip equipment, which is the, the structure zone. Structures for the beams and columns. Alright, so I need to create the structures I'm designing, which is beams and column. Alright, so now I need to create the frame, the first frame I'm designing, which is frame one. I can name it frame one. Click OK. Alright, so the next stage now is for me to set the specification. Okay, so I select this, which is a set default profile specification. So I select this. So for the specification, I was told to use the British standards from the information given. And the, gener the generic type is the universal beams. Then I select this from the information given. Then the, just the justification is TOS, which is top of steel. Then I select apply, dismiss. Okay. So I need to set this, which is the set section storage area. Then I need to set this also, which is the set node storage area. Then I go to create, I go to section, and I go to straight to design my beam. So for the string method, I need to click on continuous. Okay. Then I select this for the explicit position. Okay. All right. Then I need to set this to be west because I was given my west to be. 305360. I was given my knot to be 309680. I was given my elevation to be 104110. Okay. Then I select this. So I'm to move south from the information given. My 4880. Okay. So I can be on isotree view to view. And work to draw list. Then I'm to move west by 5180. I'm to move west once again by 5180. Alright, for better view, I can work to draw a list. Then I select this again. I move west by 5180. Make a pardon, 5190. Okay. Then I'm to move not by 4880. To move eastwards by 5190. I move eastwards by Five one eight zero. East again by five one eight zero. Okay, dismiss. All right. So for me to design the columns somewhere around here, I, I click on create, click on framework, and then name it frame two. Okay. So I need to set the specification, select this, which is standards, and for now I'm to use universal columns, and I've been told to use 203 by 203 by 46, click apply, dismiss, alright, so I go to create, I go to sections, I go to straight, then I set the explicit position, Okay, alright, I'm okay with the information I'm having here because that was what I was given. I click OK. 
and I set this and I'm moving downwards by 3710 and I, I can dismiss so what I'm going to do now is that I would offset this column right here to this part this part and this part here for me to do that I go to create I go to create I select copy I select offset so I'm moving towards the I'm moving towards the minus negative y direction here okay so this all right okay all right and I'm moving towards the negative y direction by 4880 okay setting this yes Okay, dismiss. Alright, so what I'm going to do now is I'm going to offset this and this to the negative x direction. So for me to do that, for me to do that, I need to select this. I go to create. I go to offset. Okay, alright, I'm moving towards the negative x direction, which is towards this part here. So I set my y to be zero this to be 5180 from the information given then I click apply and I select this and this then I press the escape button on my system and I select I select yes and yes so I need to move by negative 5180 again so I select this and I select the column to move select this select this escape yes yes then I'm moving towards the negative x direction again by 5190 from the information given select apply select this and this yes yes then I dismiss okay All right, so for me to design the second set of frames the columns here at this part here I go to create I go to create I go to framework and I name it frame 3 click OK so I need to set the specification which is standards universal columns and I'm I was told to use this so I click apply dismiss I set this I set this okay all right then I go to create okay I go to sections I go to straight all right so for me to design the columns I need to select my explicit position which is this well since I'm moving to this part okay and I've been given the elevation as 104110 so you can use that click OK select this and the direction is upwards so I can and I've been told to use the distance of 2290 okay all right and dismiss but now I want to offset this column along this negative x direction then move towards the negative y direction okay so let's do this so I click on create copy offset okay so I'm moving by negative x to do I'm moving towards the negative x direction and you can confirm this by zooming this in can you see all right negative x direction by 5180 apply select this escape yes yes then I'm moving by negative 5180 again I select this escape yes and yes okay that's it there then I'm moving by negative X again okay but now 5190 
Okay, select yes. 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 But now I want to move towards the negative y, y direction, which is towards the side here. So I set this to be 0. And my negative y to be minus 4, it is 0. And apply. And I set, I select the columns I want to offset, which is this, 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 and this. Escape. Yes. Yes. And I can dismiss. All right. So now I want to create the the last frame at this part here on top of this on top of this column there. On the top of the column there. So for me to do that, so click on create framework, and I name it frame four. Click OK. All right. Then I set the specification here, eh? which is the pretty standard universal beams. And I was told to use um, 20 by 133 by 25, which is this. Apply, dismiss. I set it like I set this, I set this. Okay. All right. So now I'm to design the beams now. So I go to create, I go to sections, I go to straight. Okay, so I set this, which is my explicit position. I click OK. I select this. I'm moving south by 480. I'm moving west by 5180. West by five one eight zero. West by five one eight zero. Five one nine zero. Like a pattern. Then I'm moving north by four eight eight zero. I'm moving eastwards by. Five one nine zero. I'm moving east by five one eight zero. Okay. Then I'm moving east was finally by five one eight zero. Dismiss. Okay. So I've designed the rack. Okay. Let me be on. ISO tree view. Okay. Alright. So I finally designed the pipe rack using PDMX. But I need to brace it up now. So for me to do that, I create a frame for it and I name it frame five. Okay. Then I set the specifications there. Eh? And from the information given, I was told to use the British standards. Then they write all the section, the rectangular all the section, I beg your pardon. And I was told to use 150 by 10 by 5, which is this. Okay, I click apply, dismiss. I said this, I said this also. Okay, then I go to create, I go to sections. But now instead of going to straight, I go to the bracing configurations, which is this. All right. Okay, so I can set my profile from here also. British standards. Right, the rectangular low section, which is to use 150 by 10 by 5, which is this. Okay, dismiss. Okay. From here, I can choose the the present configuration I wish to use, okay, All right. So I'm using this because it works in line with my design. Then I click apply, and for the gap A, I was told to use 75. For this, I was told to use 75 also, and I'm using this, okay. All right. So I select the parts I want, which is this is my this is one two and three 
All right, this is one, two, and three. This is one, two, three. Okay, so I do this also. This is one, two, three. One, two, three. One, two, three. Okay. One, two, three. Then one, two, three. Okay. So I press that out now. So for this upper part here, yeah? okay, I may decide to change it. So I'm to use I'm to use this one here. To use this one here. Okay. Alright, I wish to use this. This, depending on the one you want. Okay. Alright, and I go to apply. Okay. Select one. Dismiss. I got start over again and said apply. I said one, two, three, four. Let's try this. Okay, let's click on dismiss. Let's try this one here. Apply. Okay, one, dismiss. So, all right, one. One, two, three, four. Okay, all right. One, we need to be careful when designing this. So you can always zoom so you'll be sure you're selecting the right element. This, 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 this. Okay, and select one, two, three, oh, dismiss, apply, one, two, three, four. Okay, all right, so you follow the same process in designing the bracing for, for each of this, all right, and with that, you complete the design of the pipe rack using PDMX. All right, my name is Timito Perepse, my reader. I'm from Nigeria. For you to contact me, you can contact me on plus 234-805-220-4606. And also, you can also contact me on 70 3315 double four double three thank you for watching have a nice day